Hi everyone, my name is Laura Holly and this is Pedagogo Reviews, reviewing albums and EPs from popular, lesser known and independent artists. Today I will be reviewing Bedroom Hero from singer-songwriter Liz Lawrence, which was originally released on the 30th of March 2012 in the Republic of Ireland, but was re-released at the beginning of January this year on Bandcamp. So, Liz Lawrence is a singer-songwriter from London in the UK who has shared the stage with the likes of Ben Howard, Annie DeFranco, The Civil Wars and Michael Kiwanuka. And from listening to this album numerous times, because it is great, I would say she sits on the musical shelf with Feist, Cat Power, Bat for Lashes and maybe a couple of CDs away from Florence and the Machine. Bedroom Hero is a lovely album containing ten happy, poppy, catchy songs that go by so quickly you'll find yourself listening again. And there's something in this album, some kind of ingredient that puts a smile on my face. I was listening to it the other day on my way to work on the bus and I found myself thinking about how I can make the world a better place, maybe through giving random people hugs or maybe giving presents to anyone and everyone. I, f I was listening to it before I did this recording and it could have been a beautiful summer's day outside for all I cared. It just gives off that kind of feeling. Why is this? Well, Liz has one of those voices that is soft, it's slightly smoky, it's airy, mature. She pronounces some of her S's in a shush way and some of her T's in a ch. If, if that makes sense to you. Um, and the songs are mostly major, they're mostly upbeat. There's plenty of backing vocals, enough to make it seem like there's a small choir singing. There is brass, there's whistling, there's pop piano, there's hand claps or finger clicking, I think, maybe both. But all of this is just a recipe for happiness. So which songs would I play, skip, repeat? I would play one day almost purely for the awesome explosive middle eight where the brass comes out in full force and the cymbals get a good crashing and I picture a sunny mini festival where people are dancing around in their wellies, drink in hand and life is great. I would skip Fool's Gold because I don't like the rhythm in the chorus. It's that simple. And I would repeat Black and Blue, because in amongst all the jollity is what you could call the sad song of the album, which shows a bit of variation. But I especially like this song because I think it's, I like to think it's portrayed as a love song, or maybe unrequited love, when it's actually about an abusive relationship. So I give Liz Lawrence's Bedroom Hero a 4 out of 5. It puts me in a good mood. The music is good, the songwriting is good, there is brass, and it makes me crave that live atmosphere. Liz Lawrence is currently gigging all over the UK and blogging about it, so if you want to read about them or go to them, then click on the link I've posted to her official website in the description box below with her official Twitter and YouTube pages and the link to her Bandcamp page where you can listen to Bedroom Hero or purchase it for $6.99. Thank you all for watching. To watch any other reviews, go to the Pedagogo Music channel, or to keep up to date with the latest Pedagogo reviews, just subscribe. And if you have any review requests or music recommendations, then just leave me a comment below or tweet me at Pedagogo Music. Next time I will be reviewing Everything Everything's new album Arc, which should be up over the next few days. So until then, have a jolly week. I'm oh.